If you are struggling to find a place you can live and actually afford it, and you're not alone, Milwaukee County is pouring millions of dollars into trying to make more affordable housing in the suburbs. Our Jason Calvi shows us what's going on out in Wauwatosa. A surprise when the TV cameras came to this Wauwatosa street. In front of Larry's old house. Larry Neitzer died several years ago. He was a really neat guy with a great story, and we thought we could at least, you know, celebrate him a little bit by taking care of the house that he grew up in. And then cutting the grass and shoveling the snow with no children and no ears, his home sits vacant. Built in 1916, it now shows its age. And we had been calling for so long to get something done about that house. It went into foreclosure after no one paid the property tax bill. When that happens outside the city of Milwaukee, the house goes to the county. Now Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley signs new legislation. It'll tap $3 million of American Rescue Act money to fix up county-owned foreclosed homes like this one in the suburbs. If you want to know what this house will look like rehabbed and fixed up, well, take a look across the street. This house looks very, very similar and just sold last year for $399,000. County leaders want the fixed up homes to sell at an affordable price, specifically for first time home buyers and people who live in the county, not out of state investors. Wauwatosa has historically been a community of a widespread of housing options at, at many price points and that's becoming less and less true. We want to keep our neighborhoods affordable, you know. I want young families to live here. For now, Larry's old home still sits empty. Well, next door they wait for new neighbors. In Wauwatosa, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Jason, thank you for that. Now, the county's housing division is still finalizing just who can buy the homes and how much they'll cost. The legislation also pumps $15 million into affordable housing developments. You can read more about that on our homepage by heading over to our website. Just go to fox6now.com.